Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today it's another experiment or better product test. Often when we do an acrylic pour the outcome after the pour looks super good and glossy and everything and after it dries it's rather dull or matte or, and that's why a lot of people varnish their painting. So the, the colors are not glossy. That's simply because the normal pouring mediums are better flow troll glue which are the most common ones are not glossy and acrylic paint in general is also not glossy so there's no way it can be there are some pouring mediums like from Lekitex that have a gloss in it but now I want to test the golden um, color pouring medium in gloss and matte they were so kind to provide me these samples and I really love the golden colors anyway because they're so highly pigmented unfortunately I don't have a lot of them but if you use those they're liquids and you can use a completely different mixing ratio like uh, three parts pouring medium one part paint so it's also very efficient okay so I already mixed a little bit of paint I also only gonna use two so like blue and yellow so you eventually get some additional green but I really want want to see the outcome I'm not too interested about the, the pattern or the cells or anything like that I also plan to not even add silicone because that's not what I want to focus on when it's finally dry. I'm going to use two little tiles and that's basically already it. Will the gloss make my final painting look glossy and will there be a difference to the matte outcome? Okay, so let's put some paint together. Okay, so I have it in little cups. What is a little yeah, men, men, worth mentioning is that the glossy one seems to be thinner than the matte one. So the glossy one I added the fluid acrylics and it had the right consistency, even a little bit on the thin side. And to the matte one I added some water. It can of course also be again completely different with non-fluid acrylics, but that of course could change how much paint you can get out of it, like if you add a little bit of water of course you have more volume. This is a lot of paint for a little tile obviously but I just want to have it run over and under and, and all kinds of that. Again it's not supposed to be pretty, it's not going to be pretty, there's no silicone. I just want to show you at the end when it's dry how it looks like. Okay, so again, want to just say these pigments are really fantastic and I'm not being paid for anything like that. I knew that before, I just can't afford it, but it's, uh, it's uh, fantastic really. So let's just move it over there and then that's already what I want to do right now. And then we're just waiting for it to be dry and then I'm going to show you. I wish I had also a little bit more contrast on the glossy one, but yeah, when it's dry, I'm going to put it against the light. This is with dark blue, this is with light blue. I mean, this looks super cool. Hi everyone and welcome back. So it's two days later and it dried. Um, something you need to consider, it might be dry when you touch it, so you don't leave fingerprints or anything like that. But any painting we all will only be cured like after 30 days. But for the purpose of this experiment, obviously we can already see where we are. And I'm really pleasantly surprised. Like I said, normally when you do a pour, you have matte. Um, here's a little bit metallic, so don't be surprised about that. But in general, it's rather a matte finish because the paint and the pouring medium is like that. Now, this is the matte one. Matte one and you can also really see how there's no shine or nothing the colors are very settled in so that's matte I don't want to say it's more matte than normally I can't really can't really tell the difference what I definitely can tell the difference is the glossy one it really 
is as if you used glossy colors, glossy paint. I don't want to say it's the same like varnish, but it's definitely a step up. So I'm not sure how exactly I can show you this very pretty. I'm going to take it in the sun. Wait a second. Okay, so ignore the cat toilet and everything. That's the window. And look at it. I mean, this is not a normal shine you normally get. So this is really, really cool. I'm really pleasantly surprised. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this. Perhaps you give this stuff a try. Uh, it's really cool. And I'm going to use the rest up from my sample. Hope you see you back. And bye-bye.